friends this video on oscillations part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com no more fear from exam please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 7 before going ahead with part 8 now let us talk about the third term that is the angular frequency in the expression that is which is denoted by omega so what is that angular frequency? It is nothing but the frequency with which the mass m is oscillating. So how do we get an expression for omega? Now let us try to find an expression for omega. So how can we express omega in terms of the other terminologies which we studied till now? Again we will start with the same expression that is the displacement of the particle which is denoted by a cos omega t plus phi. Let us say that the initial phase or the initial state of the particle is, it starts from 0. So we are considering that phi is equal to 0. So in that case, x of t will be equal to a cos omega t. Now as we know, that it is a cosine function so it will repeat itself after 2 pi and similarly since it is a simple harmonic motion so after a time period of capital T this, this x of t will also get repeated so we can say that x of t will be equal to x of t plus capital T that is after this much of time period the motion will get repeated right so we can say that a cos omega t is equal to a cos omega t plus capital T which can be written as a cos omega t plus omega capital T now we also know that cos theta repeats itself after 2 pi. Now from this expression we get cos omega t is equal to cos omega t plus omega capital T. But since we know that cos of theta is equal to cos theta plus 2 pi. So comparing with this equation we can say that this term omega t is nothing but 2 pi. So we can say omega capital T is equal to 2 pi or from here we can say that omega is equal to 2 pi by T. So we can say that angular frequency is related to the time period of the oscillatory motion. So that is omega is equal to 2 pi by T. This is how we define the angular frequency of an oscillating particle. So the SI unit of angular frequency is radians per second. That is very obvious because angular frequency is 2 pi by t. So this pi is measured in radians and time is measured in seconds. So the SI unit becomes radian per second. Also, it is 2 pi times the frequency of oscillation. What is frequency of oscillation? We spoke about it in the previous slides. Frequency of oscillation is nothing but the inverse of time period. That is the number of oscillations per second by, a, by an oscillating body. So nu is equal to 1 by t. This is the frequency of oscillation. So just now we found that omega is equal to 2 pi by t. So this can be written as 2 pi into 1 by t which is equal to 2 pi into mu. So it is 2 pi times the frequency of oscillation. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.